a virus, it, it, it's a particle. It goes to everybody. So if somebody is immune, the virus also goes in, into this body. And it will multiply even a little bit. But if you're immune, you attack the virus first with antibodies and you make immediately debris, the virus is destroyed, you have only parts of the virus around in, in your tissue, if you make a swap, or in your blood, if you go and test your, you will find this, this debris and part of the debris will be nucleic acids, RNA. And if you make a PCR, all these people will be positive because the PCR picks up two tiny, or if it's a good assay, three, sometimes two, sometimes only one tiny little piece of RNA that is then amplified. And this assay cannot tell you whether you had the virus or you just had some dead chunk of the virus, which still gives you a positive result. So, so a corona positive with a PCR, everybody should realize it tells you only a little tiny bit of DNA of RNA nucleic acid was there, but it doesn't tell you whether it was a, what the virus complete or even a virulent, uh, meaning a virus that can really make you sick. All this is not in this test. The most panic inducing principle, namely that most media still speak about today we had so and so many new infections. Well, the latest government figures show the highest daily number of new infections. As the increase in the number of daily infections, 322 new cases of infection. A steep rise in coronavirus infections in England. The rate of infections are uh, growing significantly. Figures out today have shown an uptick in infection rates in London. With what is clearly a second wave of infection about to break. Which is totally, it's not true. No other virus ever on this planet has been accompanied by so much testing and a testing that has created so much nonsense and panic.